have you ever noticed that things around us exist in collection like a collection of books on your bookshelf or a collection of shoes in your shoe rack what about a bouquet of flowers isn't it a collection of flowers a collection of pokemon cards or a collection of toy cars so things exist in collection around us so do you know that these collection have some mathematical properties attached to them no right so that is what you will learn in sets so simply put set is a collection of things now how do we define set mathematically let's see well a set is a well defined collection of objects now what do we mean by well defined well well defined means that does not vary from one person to another it remains same for all the people now collection refers to a group and objects refer to people or things so what is a set it is a well defined collection of objects remember a collection of things will be a set only if it is well defined well defined means that does not vary from one person to another well we will learn about it more further consider this days of the week is it a set let's check two things well is it a collection of objects yes we know that the days of the week are sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so it is a collection of days so it is a collection of objects now is it well defined so i know that the days of the week are sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday the answer remains same for you now if you ask any other person what are the days of the week he will answer the same days so it does not vary for me for you or for any other person so this is also well defined so days of the week is a collection of objects as well as well defined so days of the week is a set now what about all vowels of english alphabet now we'll check the two things again all vowels of english alphabet is it a collection of objects yes it is a collection of letters or is it a collection of alphabets so it is a collection of objects now is it well defined all vowels of english alphabet are a e i o and u i know the answer you know the answer now if you ask any other person what are the vowels of english alphabet he will give you the same answer so it does not vary from person to person so this is also well defined so we can say that all vowels of an english alphabet are a set now look at this collection of five best indian actors now if you ask me who are the five best indian actors i would give these names now i asked one of my friends who are the five best indian actors and according to him it was this now maybe you don't agree with me or my friend and you think that the five best indian actors are these so we can see that we don't agree on this point so what do you think is collection of five best indian actors a set okay let's check collection of five best indian actors is it a collection of objects yes because it is a collection or a group of people now is it well defined can you see that collection of five best indian actors varies for me my friend and maybe it varies for you and if you ask other people you'll get many different answers so collection of five best indian actors varies for me you and other people as well so this is not well defined as it varies for one person to another so is collection of five best indian actors a set no 
it is a collection but it is not a set Now you answer, all tall students in your class, is it a set? Let's check. All tall students in your class, is it a collection of objects? Yes, it is a group of people, so is it, it is a collection of objects. Now is it well defined? Let's see an example. Suppose you have these six students in your class. Can you tell me who are the tall students here? Now you may think, that this and this, these students are tall and these are short. Now I may think, no, these four students are tall and these are short. Now maybe the teacher thinks that only he is tall and all others are short. So we don't know who are actually tall and who are actually short to be measured here. Now suppose if it was mentioned all tall students in your class above three feet. So we can see the scale, three feet is here. So we can measure, <coughs> we can see that above three feet, these four students are there. So we can count the number of students that are above three feet, that is one, two, three, and four. But this information is missing in the question. We have been given the question, all tall students in your class. So this is an arguable point and we cannot agree on the same point as if which students are to be called tall. So this is a collection of objects, but this is not well defined. So all tall students in your class is not a set. Now you may think, why should I study sets? Where will I use it in maths? Well, maths is all about numbers. You can see a group of numbers over here. What about this group? This is a group of positive integers, or you can say this, this is a group of natural numbers. Now what about this? Well, this is a group of negative integers, and this is a group of both positive and negative integers. So, learning sets will help you to organize numbers not only in these groups, but also in the set of prime numbers, set of integers, set of even integers, the set of odd integers, and many more. Now, you may have noticed such patterns and riddles in newspapers and books. So, after learning sets, you will be able to solve this in seconds. You will also be able to solve problems like last June, there were 15 windy days and 20 rainy days. Yet, five days were neither windy nor rainy. So if we count the number of days, it is 15 plus 20, 35 plus 5, 40. But how can this be when June has only 30 days? So you can solve impossible problems like this after learning sets. So, Set theory helps to explain a collection of objects in a better and easier way.